Turners. It's Kerry Harrison from Harrison Specialties again and today I want to introduce our new line of mid-sized wood turning tools. We've had a number of requests from customers over the years for smaller tools. I know there's lots of folks that do smaller things like pens and bottle stoppers and you know small bowls and j just all kinds of things on these little mi mid and mini sized lathes and they just feel like the our full size tools are a little much for that so we decided to since we got those requests to go ahead and introduce a line of mid sized tools um, we're gonna we have three tools available now one is the uh, mid sized simple turner and hollower and that's this one with the it's got a round flat top tip on it and then we've got a simple rougher mid-size simple rougher oh I should mention that this this cutter is uh, about 12 millimeters so it's about half inch <coughs> in diameter and the the simple turn or the simple rougher has got a 10 millimeter cutter so that's in the uh, 7 16 range something like that and the, that cutter is available with a perfectly square cutter that's the one that you see here and also one uh, there's a cutter with a two inch radius as an option and then we all, we've got a simple uh, 55 degree diamond detailer and that actually that cutter is the same cutter that's used on our full size tool and uh, it's just mounted on this smaller shaft all these shafts perfectly square a solid steel and uh, they're three eighths, <coughs> three eighths inches square. Excuse me. Now, uh, how do they compare with our other tools? Well, here's the, uh, the simple turner and hollower, the full size tool. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in them there. So this, the full size tools have the half inch shaft, and the cutter is quite a bit bigger, as you can see there. So I get it up here where you can see it a little bit better. See the size comparison. These tools are 20, uh, the full size tool is 25 inches long and the mid size uh, is 18 inches long. And just like these full size tools, the uh, mid size handle is, uh, they're interchangeable. So you just loosen a couple of set screws here and you can slide the tool out and put in another tool. So we'll sell these in a in a three tool set, same as we do with our full size tools. So you can buy them in a three tool set. You can buy them individually too, or in that three tool set with or without this handle. Now the handle is something else to tell you about. Um, this part of the handle, pretty much the same as our full size tool. It's a solid chunk of aluminum that we machine to fit the tools. And uh, but what we thought about doing for the handle was uh, I wanted to do something really different. I'd never seen a handle like this before. A lot of them are wood. And, and I thought, well, you know, those are really nice, but let's let's do something that's a little bit different. So my inspiration for this is, uh, of course, the pen turning blanks that we see for bottle stoppers. They're all kind of blanks out there that are acrylic or resin. And uh, I thought, well, maybe we should see if we can learn how to cast our own uh, urethane handles. And uh, so that's what we've done. And you can see that uh, when you look at all three, or three different handles, they're the same. They're a real deep blue, kind of a pearl look to them. But each one is hand poured, and of course they are all made in uh, St. Michael, Minnesota. So yeah, everything that we sell is, is uh, American made. And so anyway, we cast our own, our own handles, and each one is individually poured, so they are all different possible to make two identical handles. So uh, we have a solid aluminum uh, end here for the tool to rest in and then that's molded right into the handle. So these these buggers are, uh, man, they're super tough. I think they'll outlast any wood handle for uh, quite, a, quite a bit. Um, so anyway, that's uh, enough talking about those. Uh, I think probably the best way to tell you about them is to show you how they work. And so I thought, what I do for that is uh, you make a um, a bottle stopper and so I got one of these these kits you know bottle stopper kit and I've already drilled and as you can tell I've drilled and tapped this this blank for this and these just screw in there if you guys have never done one of these they're kind of fun screws down in there 
and then uh, under here is a, a corkscrew. So these are kind of nifty. So anyway, what I did over in the drill press is uh, I just drilled and tapped in a 5 8 counter bore there so that this thing will screw all the way down in and uh, be flush with this surface. And I've already sanded this surface off. And then to make an arbor, I just took a 3 8 bolt, cut the head off, and you can see I've got it chucked into this uh, collet holder here. And uh, I put a nut on there and just ran it down until it ran out of threads. And then, well, since I'm a machinist, I turned it to the right diameter in a lathe, a metal lathe. But, uh, you know, you can do it just as easy on a, uh, you just chuck this in a drill and uh, turn it against a belt sander or disc sander or something, and you'll be able to sand that right down. So, turn it down until it fits on here. And we'll go ahead and screw that on there. And we'll get busy here. Turning this. There we go. I always like to use the center. <clears throat> as much as possible just to support things. So let's see, we'll start out with the, the roughing tool, of course. And should have raised this up a little bit. These are meant to be used right on the center line. got a cylinder there. I forgot to measure the uh, diameter that I want here. Let's see what we got here. That's about an inch. I'll go a little bit bigger than that. So. Well, something like that. Huh. Well, just see what we got here. Okay. You know, a good inspiration uh, or a place to get inspiration for these is we get well, we get all these wood turning catalogs, us turners do you know, and they uh, this is where I bought the blanks. Let's see, this is uh, who are these guys? This is a wood turners uh, wood turners catalog, woodturnerscatalog.com. They got a lot of nice stuff, but you know, you get ideas from these catalogs too. Let's to sort of get an idea of what their blank should look like. So. Let's see what we're gonna make here. I think that'll be pretty good on the base. I think my block's a little bit big. Let me get rid of some of this here. Looks like about the right size. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for coughing. Normally I have my dust collector running when I'm doing this, but I don't want to spoil the sound of my video. So 
I'll have to breathe a little dust today. There we go. That's a pretty good looking shape. I think I'll just get rid of this end here. This uh, 55 degree detailer works pretty darn good for a parting tool. There. Get that off of there. It's a little squeaky now that we're not supporting it anymore. Trying to make a little, little curve to the top. Yeah, that's because it's so flimsy right there. That looks pretty good. pretty nice stopper to hold on to. I think I'll cut some details in it. The uh, detailer here. Yeah, there we go, right about there. And another one about there. That should work. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to take and uh, use a wire to burn some marks in it. And, well, I thought I had a wire laying over here for this. <laughs> oh, here it is. You've ever done this before or not, but the way to do it is to just oh, I'm gonna straighten it a little. I got hot already. Just layer on there. I'm not pushing super hard, and that friction makes a bunch of smoke as you can see. Take a look at it. Oh man, it smells good. <laughs> and you gotta watch this, it wire can get really, really hot. I like get a good amount of smoke going. And take a look at it. There. That looks pretty good. Now. I am going to have to turn on my cyclone for a minute while I sand it, so pardon the noise. This won't take long. I'll just give her a quick sand here.
here. Oh, you know what? I did not notice it, but I got a little flat spot there. I'm gonna have to fix that. I guess I didn't have my bone quite as round as I thought. Oh well, so it's a real wood turning video. Let's just see what we're gonna do about that. So we got a new shape. <laughs> What's wrong with that? One more time on the cyclone. that I'm showing you this sanding normally I don't get into sanding because everybody knows how to sand but I had a customer stopped into our shop one day and he was telling me how he finishes all his turnings with uh, CA glue or super glue and was just saying that boy that is the best thing ever and you know what he's right <laughs> I'll show you now this is instant bond thin Premium adhesive. Triple distilled Sienna Accolade, or however you say that. So super glue or CA glue. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit on a rag. Turn this on kind of slow. And yeah, I'm gonna wear a glove because we all know what happens to skin and super glue. Put a little bit of this on here. Look what that does, huh? And then we got a little of this accelerator. Instabond activator. Give that a little spray. And that dries it right up. Oop, put the right cap on it here. And you can see that that thing is already shiny. Now, watch this. We'll put on a little bit more. And that just, oh, see, it glued it to my glove. The heat activates it right away, just from that little bit of rubbing. This stuff does make some fumes. That's the one downside of it. I got, there's kind of a fumes that make me want to cough and, and uh, it's not the best on the eyes either. It kind of makes my eyes water a little bit. So that's something to be aware of. But the thing is here now, I, I don't know how good this video is going to show this, but that thing is just super shiny. I cannot believe how good this works. It is just absolutely amazing. I like a beautiful finish and how long did that take, you know? A couple minutes. Two applications, it's dry and really, really hard, it seems like. I'm gonna give it one more shot just to kind of see, use my other fingers. This time I'll be a little more careful not to get so much heat. Use the, run the lathe real slow. This is amazing. I was always, uh, I always used uh, polyurethane for all my turnings, but I'm done with that. It's kind of weird having this D 
deal and stuck to my finger. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not really stuck to my finger. So I'm just going to speed this up and just buff it here. There. The thing is done. And no, I didn't speed up the video or anything. This is all this whole thing is, is in real time. So I'm going to take this off of here. And yeah, you can see it's uh, it's all done. Nice and shiny. Now all i got to do is screw it on here. And I'll have to use a, I'll have to use a pliers here. I didn't make my bore quite big enough. I'll have to use a pliers and a rag and screw that down in there. Have myself a bottle stopper. Boy, that's pretty nice. And it's a real nice hard finish. Oh, I like this. Yep. I'm going to be doing that a lot. It's Christmas time now, pretty close. So, time to be making Christmas ornaments. So, that's the way to finish them. CA glue. I love it. So, anyway, there you go. That's a little demonstration of our simple wood turning tools. And uh, of course, you can find them on our website, harrisonspecialties.com. Um, Amazon, we sell on Amazon too, and eBay, if you like to shop there. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about turning. This is only the second one of these I've ever done, so it's kind of fun. Hey, thanks for watching the video.